Hi, what's up guys? And this will be a review of uh, Lenovo ThinkPad E470 from a Linux user. Uh, so I bought this laptop without any operating system and it is pretty budget laptop. It costed about uh, 500 bucks or maybe a little bit more, maybe 550 bucks. And basically it comes shipped uh, with this box there is nothing in this box except manuals and some holders of the laptop like this so that's some something like this cloth but it is useless so you can throw it away so basically there is nothing else here so. and also there is a charger so this is the charger and laptop that's it it is pretty heavy actually I thought it will be a little bit lighter than this so first of all I will show you how it looks so this is how it looks like and it has matte screen that you can see and first of all in order to get some performance boost I would like to replace uh, the default disk which is magnetic and it is 500 gigabytes and it is uh, better to use some kind of SSD I already prepared it actually I already replaced it before and already installed the operating system on it and and before this video I just put it back so to show you how how you can do it uh, so there is nothing difficult in the process of replacing uh, the SSD of replacing the disk so this is the laptop uh, this is SSD disk which I have 2.5 inches sun disk pretty fast and so first of all you need to unscrew these three screws it's uh, pretty easy just get your screwdriver and then unscrew them also take them out one two three then slightly pull the cover and it will be easily opened up here and uh, this is the internal side of the laptop uh, here you can see there is one extra slot for memory card for the RAM and by default it has only 4 gigabytes and one of the biggest downside of this laptop is that the battery is not removable uh, so you need to open the cover to get to your battery and it is a really big downside for me and uh, this is uh, the original uh, hard drive and in order to remove it, uh, there is one screw here, over here, just a small tiny screw. So, unscrew it first. I don't know if you can see it or not. Here, one tiny screw. Put it aside for a while. Then you, sl you need to open this cable. So, slightly pull it up here, the holder and it is opened then use this blue holder and pull it back and as you can see uh, this design is quite uh, looks quite weird to me because uh, this cable goes on the top of the hard drive uh, which I think is not really safe and you can easily damage it and now in order to get your hard drive uh, you just need to slightly pull it up 
I'll use my screwdriver to do this. So this is it, this is the hard drive. And here you can see uh, there is some kind of plastic holder. So you need to remove it like this. Now we have our disk removed. And actually this cable uh, it is glued uh, to the uh, hard drive so you need to um, remove it gently uh, be careful do not damage it and uh, there is some kind of connector here so take it out now you need to get your new SSD uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, put uh, this uh, cable, let's plug it on. Next, what you need to do is to install uh, this plastic holder back in place. It is pretty easy because uh, there are holes here in the drive itself and uh, there is some kind of this thing here which fits exactly in the hole into the hole then you just need to put it back as it was before then get your smallest screw put it back here plug your cable back so again open this thing up put the cable in and then close the holder the cable is back uh, the hard drive is back and we're ready to close it so get your cover put it back make sure that everything fits in and then slightly pull it until it closes finally get your screws and put inside inside the holes and then fix it all right uh, so now we have our ssd installed our old hard drive removed and now we're ready to use our laptop so here what we've got in terms of ports uh, the first one is our charging port uh, next is our LAN and then HDMI, one USB port. We have nothing in front, so there is no ports in the front side. So on the other side of the laptop uh, we have our uh, memory card or SD, SD card slot, uh, then our headphones jack, uh, then we have two USB ports here some kind of small hole I think this is uh, for the lock I'm not sure I've never used it before and here on the top cover uh, we have our ThinkPad label and actually uh, this uh, small uh, red dot is uh, kind of blinking uh, when you uh, suspend it or when you plug your charger uh, this is the cover of the laptop it is uh, plastic, just tender plastic, nothing special here. And you can open it using one hand because it is pretty heavy. One of the best things that I like about this laptop is keyboard. It is uh, really nice to press them. And there is also trackpad here, uh, the red dot. Uh, there is touchpad. Uh, this laptop contains Core i5 CPU and also on the other side there is another label and here uh, we have our power button here you can see that it is actually uh, the version of our laptop is this E470 and one of the things that I don't like about uh, the keyboard is that uh, they kind of grade out uh, the functional keys here uh, so uh, you can pretty easily see where is the 
volume control, you can see the brightness, but it is not really easy to differentiate uh, which is F10 or F11 and you always uh, need to spend some time to find uh, where is uh, the location of F10. Uh, so now let's uh, turn it on. So I'll press this button. I have already my operating uh, system installed. Uh, by default I'm using Debian system. After I press enter you can see how long it takes to load it. So basically it's pretty fast. So here it is. I already have my operating system up and running. This is my Debian. Also we can uh, check how the internet works. So I will plug the ethernet cable here. So you can see it works. So uh, next thing uh, I wanted to show you is how the multimedia works. And I will just play some kind of video. Do you speak English? The volume is about at 50 percent. Sorry, I cannot speak. Sorry, I cannot speak Russian. I can. You can see if I'm changing uh, the angle. Sorry, I don't understand you. What's your name, by the way? Huh? Huh? What's your name? I'm just slowly changing the angle. Okay, so you can understand me. So, so, so how, how is your day? How is your day? <laughs> Tell me something. Okay, so this is the media, how it uh, plays. I think it is pretty okay. Uh, so basically this is a full HD screen and all the elements on the screen are very small. And on each page I need to do uh, this uh, little hack. Here uh, you can see that on every page I need to zoom it to 120% so I can read uh, the text because it is really small and it's not easy uh, to read in this uh, high resolution. Also what I'd like you to show is that uh, on this keyboard uh, when you press the caps lock uh, it has green light uh, which is uh, pretty convenient. Uh, so you will know when your caps is pressed, when it's not. What else to tell you about this? Also here you can see uh, the red uh, LED is now light up. Also uh, there is uh, another thing here uh, which is used uh, for security. Uh, this is your fingerprint scanner here. But I'm not using it. So what I can say in the conclusion of this short review is uh, that this laptop is uh, really good value for the money. Uh, you will get a decent performance, uh, you will get nice keyboard, nice screen, matte uh, display. Uh, also uh, you will get a long uh, lasting battery. It, I think it is enough for about five hours of work uh, without charging it. Uh, but uh, there are some uh, downsides as well. Uh, in particular for me as for Linux user there are no Wi-Fi drivers for this laptop and uh, also the battery is not, removing, not removable and uh, the weight is pretty big for me. It is quite heavy. Uh, but overall, as a temporary solution, uh, this will be okay for me. That's it for this review. That is all what I wanted to tell you. Click the like button if you liked this review. And smash it if you didn't like it. And explain in comments uh, what in particular I can improve in order to make some of my reviews better in future. And uh, thank you very much for watching this and see you in the next video.